Good morning guys, today is Saturday the 30th of January um, We're just here at the plot, it's a beautiful day um, Sun is shining, now we're just going to empty this composter to see what um, stage it's at and if we can use it as yet It's been in there for about two years um, So hopefully um, we might be able to use some of it Let's have a little look Okay guys, so as you can see, most of it is pretty good, it's broken down quite nicely, there's the odd potato in there, um, which we will get rid of, but it's looking pretty good at the moment, um, I think we will use this today, um, dig it all out, see, what, see what's going on. Hi guys, we've got the uh, compost from the compost bin now. It's been sitting there for about two years, um, so we're just going to sit through it and put it in the strawberry bed with really. um, So I'm going to start doing that. No idea. We've got a soil sifter. So not only does this help break it up, it also fishes out all the big twigs and things like that. In it. Come back in a second, I'll show you the results. Now yeah, guys, that's the last of it for now. So as you can see, it's still quite wet and it's still quite clumpy, so we'll keep that and dry it out in the summer and do it again. But this, we end up with beautiful black compost. Absolutely beautiful. So all we're going to do now is just chuck that in here. That in. Just smooth it out. And then this is all we're left with, guys. We've got all of this. So it's, most of it's just wet clay compost, but you've got obviously the twigs and things. So, like I said, we're going to dry this out now um, over the summer and we'll sift it again and see what happens. Hi guys, how you doing? Just had a little uh, little shower at the allotment. So I'm going to be cracking on with this um, strawberry bed behind me. I'm um, just building it up so it's three layers. Um, it's also like a pyramid shape. Um, it's just easier to um, to sort out the runners and things like that. And it's a lot easier when when they come to spread and things. It's a lot easier to uh, cut them off and um, use them then. So we're going to do that now. Um, hopefully we'll get most of it done today hopefully um, but yeah we're picking up the compost tomorrow as well um, I'll talk a bit but more about that later but the available Morgan Council um, they do free compost the last Sunday of every month so we're gonna be picking that up tomorrow and we're gonna hopefully gonna be using it for the, the strawberry bed behind us so I'll crack on with that now <music> Okay, so that one's finished, now the second layer. Um, what all we've done is we left an eight inch gap all the way around, which should be enough for the strawberries. Now, I will confess, I did research it and have a look how much gap I needed, but I forgot, and I haven't brought my phone. 
so I've got no internet so I think it was eight um, I think there's plenty of room it should be fine um, so we've done that layer now what we're gonna do is the third layer although we haven't got the compost we'll still get everything measured out and everything ready um, for tomorrow <laughs> There you go guys, it's all done now. It's not quite right. It's a little bit out, but it's not gonna matter. It's millimeters, but it's not gonna matter. Um, it's roughly it's roughly the same distance all the way around. Like I said, we just need the compost now to go in there, and then the strawberries can go in when it gets a little bit warmer. Um, they're at home outside in a bucket, um, and they've been there all winter, so they're all right. They just need transplanting now, and the strawberry bed we've got down here, we will move some of them as well but yeah that's about it um hopefully i'll do a video as well tomorrow or add on to this video um with the compost in it and hopefully i'll show you where i get the compost from as well morning guys uh it's sunday the 31st of january we are now off to get some free compost from the council um this compost is basically all the food waste we get from um, the county. Uh, the council take it off, they compost it down, etc. Um, and then they give it back to the community, which is really good. Um, you just got to take your own bags and your own shovel. And you can have as much as you want. Um, hopefully, I'm going to film some of it whilst we're there. Um, but yeah, basically, that's where we're going now. Um, the compost is alright. It's not too bad at all. It is quite woody. Um, so I think a lot of the garden waste gets mixed in with it as well um, but as you've seen earlier I normally sift my compost anyway just to get it a bit finer and a bit smoother so I'll be doing that um, today is rather wet unfortunately so I doubt I'll be doing it today there's not much really I'm going to be doing down the plot today but what I'll do is I'll show you the compost now um, when we get there and we'll go from there it's worth contacting your local council to see if they have the same or something similar. Um, like I said, it is really good. Um, like we get it at the last Sunday of every month, um, except for December. So, you know, when it comes to the summer and that, or over winter when you're re digging everything over, you've got the compost there ready, or you can go get some more and that sort of stuff. So, it is really good. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely worth contacting them. But uh, I'll show you when we get it goes. Um, I was also meant to say that basically as well as compost they also do wood chipping so any wood chippings that the council have got from doing their jobs throughout the, the county you can also collect them for free as well um, again same deal last Sunday of every month take your own shovel and your own bags and that but they will come in handy I've been looking at a lot of videos on YouTube regarding wood chippings and things and I was debating whether to use it for my paths and that and to be honest I think I will be eventually I've got to get the allotment sorted in the right condition really and to a point where I will be able to define my paths and know where I want everything and things so eventually that's what I'm going to do um, but yeah again it's free it's great for the ground it's, I can't beat it really um, so I'm going to be doing that eventually but again contact your local council see if they do anything similar it's worth a try
um, as you can see we now have an, uh, we have a new addition to the allotment the compost now we've been to collect it this morning and it's taken uh, about nine green waste bags and um, they've been about halfway full um, so that's what we've come come out of it really um, as you can see there's my brother he did help in all fairness but that's not the point he just wants to get on the camera now um so yeah we've been to collect that this morning um i'm going to give you a close-up in a sec it is quite woody and it's got quite a lot of fibrous stuff in it so all we'll do is like yesterday we'll um we'll save it through the garden saver um so it's a bit smoother and all the rest of it all the twigs and all the fibrous stuff can go back in the compost our composter down here um that'll just mulch down a bit more then um, but I'll do a close-up now. Okay guys, here we are. This is the close-up of the uh, the compost, as you can see. It is very fibrous and very woody, but it is very good stuff. I'll be honest, it's very good. Um, so we will sift through this. Um, it's a bit wet down here today, um, so I'm not going to be doing it today. Um, so that'll probably be in a week, if not next weekend now. But once I do it, I'll show you the result of what comes out of it and what you actually get. But for free, like I said, you can't really fault it at all. Um, so this should keep us going till next month now. Like I said, we're going to do the strawberry planter there. Sam, even, he is a bit of a believer. So all we're going to do now with this compost, once we saved it, is fill up this middle area here. And then we'll move this one out um, and put it back on top once it's full. And we'll fill that one as well. So hopefully that should go in there. That there let's hope so okay so as i mentioned you can also get free um wood chips so i just wanted to show you quickly the wood chips um we did get some today from my brother um but this is the pile um in it's all it's a mixture of um you know bark trees um leaves good mixture so it's good for the ground um but yeah just wanted to show you quickly what it looked like um and again it's, it's great stuff Okay, here we are the composter. As you saw yesterday, we started emptying that as well. Um, so it's about halfway down. Um, there's a lot of material we can still use in it as well, which is great. So we'll fish that out again when the weather's a bit nicer. Um, so hopefully we'll do that in the next couple of weeks, really. We've got plenty of compost now to be getting on with. Just want to give you a little update on the um, the sort of shed situation and building it. We've got a door um, from a family friend there, there on the front door place, so we thought we'd have that for the um, shed door. So we've got that for free, which thing free. Um, so we've got that shed door for the shed basically, and the shed's going to go here at the top of the allot allotment, um, and it's going to go on this deck here. Now, as you can see, there's a big branch sitting on the floor. We cut it down from our chestnut tree. Um, I don't know if I've shown you before. The chestnut tree um, is at the back of the plot on sort of what I call no man's land where all the rubbish is um, between the gates or between the gardens behind and the uh, my plot. Technically is my plot apparently. But we'll, I don't know what we're going to do with that. But anyway, we cut down the tree branch just because it was overhanging. Um, the plot and it was going to get in the way of the shed so we've cut that down yesterday um battery ran out so we didn't film it um so yeah we did that yesterday and it's just getting everything ready now for the shed to go here um but if i show you the plot as a whole just spin you around as you can see it's very wet down here today there's no point doing much at all just because it is so wet and it's just so bogging um, so we're not going to do that much at all, if anything. Um, we're going to leave it for now. Um, like I said, the main aim today was just to get the compost. And that's about it. Okay, folks, um, we've got some daffodils coming up now, um, which is good. So we've got daffodils all at the bottom near the composters, um, just to make it look a bit pretty. So they've started coming up. We need to de-weed this area. As you can see, it isn't... Um, the best, so we do need to de-weed this area just so it's clear for them to come up 
um, hopefully we'll do that next week now like I said it is a bit wet down here at the moment um, so I can't really crack on with it now but hopefully um, we will do shortly right guys thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed this update and um, please like comment and subscribe cheers